So in this video, I'm going to say, show you how to actually connect your Ubiquiti uh, antenna actually to a local access wireless access point. So I'm going to open up my browser. This time it's actually the Firefox browser. And if you remember that IP address that we set before, which was 192.168.2.1, hit return. That'll bring up the login screen for the uh, antenna. Remember we had the username, UBNT, and the password, whichever you set before, click the login button. Okay, so we actually want to go to the wireless tab this time, which is just here. Click on that. If you see here, it actually says the word select. So click on that. That'll just bring up a little window. Now, if you've got some pop-up security on your browser, that might um, detect this as being a pop-up window. So sometimes you just need, it might have a, a little pop-up that says, do you want to allow pop-ups and just allow that. So this little window here is actually showing all of the connections in the, in the area. I can maximize this, so let's show all of them. And if I actually click on this section here, which is just highlighted, it will actually show you the signal strength and sort them in order of signal strength. So as you can see that uh, the, the strongest one here has got minus 38 and you're looking for the lowest number. Now it will also tell you what encryption is on them. So these ones are encrypted but this one here which is a BT Wi-Fi with FON which is probably one you, we connect to mostly is a minus 72. Not a great signal but perfectly usable. Tells you the frequency, the channel, uh, what radio system it's using, what the SSID is and I'm going to select that one because that's the strongest signal of the openly available ones that says encryption none. I go down to the bottom here where it says lock to AP. Just click that. <coughs> it says in here it's SSID BT Wi-Fi BT Wi-Fi with FON and I click the change button just down here and then the apply button which is just up here what will happen now is that the antenna will in fact reboot itself. It only takes about 30 seconds or so to do that, so we're just going to wait for that to happen. And we can actually open up another browser window, and because it's BT Wi-Fi, it should actually, <coughs> should actually open up the BT Wi-Fi screen. So if we go to a website, we're just going to keep refreshing that until we actually see the BT Wi-Fi login page, and here we are. So it's a font, I've got a font connection, so I'm just going to type in my details for that. And click login. And here we are, we're logged in successfully. So I can now go to uh, my own website, motorhometour.co.uk. And there we are. Nothing's happened. Oh, that's better. Not quite what happened there. But there we are. That's our own website for our own travels. Which hopefully you're viewing this on. And that all fully works. And we can click on different posts, different information. And there you go. And that's completely freely available. That's a BT Wi-Fi connection. And that works really well. Now just going back to that tab there. If we click select again. And we actually choose one of the connections which is in fact um, encrypted choose this one lock to AP instantly notice that down the bottom here is in fact the wireless security details and because this is one I've connected to previously it's actually remembered <coughs> the password for it or the, or the security key so that's where you type that in if it happened to be a secure network you were connecting to